kind of irritating. Yeah, I haven't cut my golf course grass here. The park grass is like a foot long. So, can't hit golf balls, so that's, you know, just way too long. Anyway, so how you doing? Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, anyway, so I think I'll make this a opening video in the debate series on the subject of the political democracy thing. Um, you know, fixing our government, making it uh, respectable, engaged, uh, repairable, responsive, interactive mechanism for which we can be proud. Uh, or at least we can feel served by uh, that we have a voice. So anyway, uh, yeah, so the simple, the problem with our democracy is that it's archaic, it's old. That's what archaic means, it's old. And uh, it's built for a time that doesn't exist anymore. And uh, so the errors that were in it weren't noticeable because things were so fucked up anyway back in the old days that they didn't notice how bad things were, <laughs> you know, in terms of what the future would bring. So the big word here is segregation. I don't want to confuse you, but yeah, we used to live in segregated, geographically segregated uh, areas, like the states, the, uh, that stuff used to actually mean something. Town names used to actually mean something. The people in one town would be different than the people in another town in rather significant ways. And there was very little diversity the more diverse you were. So the more weird you were, the more likely it was you had to live in weird town because the regulars wouldn't accept you. Um, so anyway, we don't live in that world anymore, obviously. You can be pretty weird almost anywhere now. So, people aren't represented based on their, what they believe. They are represented based on where they live, their geography. So your feet are what is being represented, not your brain. Now, which is, sounds really dumb, but that's how the system works. You get to vote, your feet have a vote, your brain doesn't have a vote. Um, yeah, and so we have this stupid two-party system where there's this geographic uh, bias, uh, where the same majority gets to steal the minority's um, representation. That's, that's why they have this winner-take-all system, is basically they want to steal your representation. The majority wants to make sure the minority has no power. And uh, so that, that, that way they can abuse their power, do things like tax cigarettes, it's totally unconstitutional. They couldn't have done it a hundred years ago when judges actually read the Constitution, but they don't read it anymore. So they're all lying lawyer scum. But that's another video for another day. But that's the evil. They all need to be, we, you know, we got a clean house. Got to take the garbage out, so to speak. Uh, grab these liars by the scruff of their scummy, dirty necks and smash them into a brick wall until they're dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it just, it's fun to even think about how to kill lawyers. It just, it's fun just even thinking about judges and lawyer kill day. Just all the different ways we could kill them. This scum, lying, bastard, motherfucking... Yeah, well, so I'm getting on that subject. I can't even think about them. They are, in fact, worse than the politicians. As bad as the politicians are, the lawyers. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so look, the fix for the system is to have actual legislative bodies where you don't have regional elections to decide how people are represented. So you don't represent Cabinet County and Joe Bobville and Sayer, Sicker, Sucker, Sucker, Knacker, 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 Knacker Town. No, you don't bother with that. You know, what you have is you say there's a hundred seats in this legislative body, this representative body, available for the people to be represented by. And you oblige the candidates to acquire the proper number of votes to account for population distribution. So you just simply say, hey, let's just pick a number out of the hat. There's 100 people gonna be in the legislative body. 
They all need 100,000 votes to get elected. There, simple. Now we're done, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, if more people vote, you might end up with uh, 120 representatives or 110. But depending on how many people vote, we'll decide how many people are in the representative body. And you basically, nobody loses the election. Because there's no possible way somebody can get into office without you putting their name as an affirmative candidate, one you believe should be uh, representing people versus one that shouldn't be representing people. Um, and you just use a simple process of instant runoff voting or choice voting or lots of words for it. But the idea would be is you would choose 5, 10, 15, it would be up to you how many candidates you listed on your list and you would order them. Here's my first choice, second choice, third choice, fourth choice and your vote would be allocated based on first whether the candidate already was elected, he already had enough affirmative votes when your ballot was processed by the computer or um, you know based on popularity. So if your first choice only gets 10 votes then those 10 votes are migrated or your vote among those 10 choices are all migrated to their second choice. And if that candidate only has 10 votes, uh, it's migrated to your third choice. But the bottom line, no matter what happens, your choice, uh, one of those people on your choice list will be either your representative or he will negotiate with other parties uh, to uh, um, create a candidate. So let's say there's two non-winners who both have control over 60,000 votes at the end of this whole graduating process. Those candidates could negotiate with each other. They could even split the time of the term or some other kind of device they could use to um, give your vote representation. But all votes would have to be represented. They'd have to end up with some candidate who actually won in the end. And so you just really can't, it's a no-fail system. We finally have representation. You go to the ballot box and you feel good because you're going to get a representative. You're going to get somebody who's going to speak your mind in these legislative bodies. He's not going to be one of these sellout, uh, you know, sitting there, uh, these, these no guts, no principles, no integrity, politically party compromised pieces of garbage that we're given now. And the only election you're going to lose, perhaps, is the presidential election. There's no way to uh, have anything other but a winner take all for the executive. But the representative bodies can be the people's house. And that's what the Congress should be, and it's not. They call it that, but it has nothing to do with that. Half the country has no representation in that stupid, lousy, rotten, uh, corrupt house. And the only way people can get any representation is they have to sell out to one of these party candidates. And that's bullshit. It's a garbage system. Got to get rid of it. And the way to get rid of it is to give us free choice and to represent ideology, not represent geography. All right. Jeez. Yeah, it's complex. I mean, I'm not going to... It really isn't complicated. I mean, it really is a simple idea. But it's, you know, it has nuance. And you can't draw a picture of it very well. And, uh... So yeah, I mean, people just don't get it. But it really isn't, it really shouldn't be hard to get. I think there's some joggers coming. I think there might be girls too. Yay for that. Yeah, baby. Win for me. Uh, so what else? Oh, way too young. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> distract, it always distracts you. Just can't uh, can't do much for that. Uh, so I was talking about dirt, sticks, rocks. No. Oh, democracy. That's right. Yeah. So really, it's not that hard to fix. We could have it in place in a year. 
everything could be, you could feel really good. Your guy in Congress, the guy you like most on planet Earth, could actually win easy. No chance, no problem. Gavorkian, no problem, be in there. Okay, but if with, a, with a system like ours, Kevorkian can never win. Because he has to win a state. He has to win a, a closed population. But in a nationwide open Congress, he's going to win in a minute. He's going to be there. That's just so... Ew. I shouldn't have even told you because this must, it must frustrate you just to think... You mean I could actually have a representative? I could actually have somebody who talked about real issues in the Congress who didn't say my friend from Nebraska and all that kind of crap. He said, you fucking son of a bitchins, you liars, you should goddamn have to take an MRI. Go in the MRI tomorrow, you goddamn lying congressman. Go on in there. I'm going to go in there. All right. And let's see who's a liar. You scum. You petty motherfucking stealing crooks. That's the, that's the congressman I want. I want a congressman who dares these fuckers to put their balls on the line. All right, if they say something and they're found out to be lying, cheating motherfuckers, that they're willing to have their fucking goddamn head pulled off of their fucking goddamn scrawny goddamn necks, okay? They got no guts. If you're for the death penalty, then when you, and you're a governor, well, when you sign that death warrant and you find out it's found out, <clears throat> it's found out to be a bad trial and the guy's innocent, you should be willing to be killed for it. All right, that's how sure you should be when you sign one of those fucking things, you cunts. But all you lying politicians, all you're out for is your goddamn money, you goddamn thieves. You all fucking should be smashed against brick walls till you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Like an old rag. Just beat it against a brick wall. These lying, cheating motherfuckers that run our country. You can include whoever you like in that category. <laughs> so anyway, this video is a little hostile. I didn't think it was going to go there. But it's a lovely day. And there's chicks running down the path. So I really can't complain. Well, I can. That's the amazing thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't seem to run out of complaint. It seems to be exhaustible. I pull one out of my pocket and another one is in my pocket. They're just like endlessly pop out of my pocket. Complaint, complaint, complaint. It's like magic. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm having an allergy. Ugh. I felt like absolute shit before. But I feel, you know, not great, but not bad. It's just so much easier to do life when you don't feel like shit. That is for sure. But man, when you feel like shit, I feel shit. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway. So till next time. And such. <laughs>